Hello everyone, welcome back. Mighty Carly D here at it again with another video. If you are new here, my name is Carly. I tell stories about true crime, conspiracies, and anything else I find interesting. It's been a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> I am very sorry about that. I recently, about two weeks ago, started a new job. It's on a completely different opposite schedule than what I'm used to working. So I've just been tired. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. I've been tired trying to adjust. And from here on out, we should be back on normal schedule. So today I wanted to tell the story of Dimitri Pano Marenko, is I think how to you pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. For the rest of the story, I'm just gonna call him Pono because I can't say anything and just to keep it easy on all of us, if you don't like it, then I do apologize. I haven't seen anyone make a video on this story before. I've just seen some articles making the rounds recently. So I decided it was time to talk about it. Also, if you hear any random noise in the background, that is one of my cats, Tesla. She's playing and nothing can stop her. So this story takes place in Odessa, Ukraine. I don't know much or anything really about Pono's past, but he was working at a, a hotel called Duke's and he was fired. He was fired the day before the actual story, and he was fired because of his drug use and inappropriate behavior. I'm not exactly sure what this inappropriate behavior was, so I guess we'll use our imagination for that. So after getting fired, I guess something in him just kind of snapped, and that is why we are talking about him today. So what did he do? Long story short, he killed his father and his best friend in his hotel. But it gets more interesting than that. He cut into this friend's stomach and pulled out the intestines and put them around himself like some sort of like neck or <laughs> neck. He put them around his neck like some sort of necklace or scarf. He also cut off his father's head. Pono then ventured outside fully nude, sat on the bench and smoked a cigarette. Once he was done with the cigarette, remember, he walked out of his house wearing the intestines and the head and sat down and smoked the cigarette. So when he was done smoking the cigarette, he got up with the head and started banging his father's decapitated head on all the cars parked down the street. Onlookers were obviously horrified about what they were witnessing, so like most of us would, they called the police. I personally would have called the police when I saw a guy with intestines and his head and naked smoking a cigarette, but they waited until, you know, he was banging cars with the head. One resident who lived in the apartment complex, because remember this happened right outside his apartment complex, said, this is a quote, a covered with blood and guts man holding a severed head came out of the entrance, sat down on the bench and lit a cigarette. So when police arrived, he was still in the same outfit with the head, but he was done hitting the cars. He was just kind of wandering around, minding his own business, I guess. Police go inside Pono's apartment, and they do confirm at this time that it was indeed his father, and they were able to confirm the identity of this friend. Most articles say they are not sure what the motive of this double murder is. But I think Pono made it pretty clear himself. You see, Pono claimed to be a god, and no one was worshipping him. So he said that he needed to kill or sacrifice two people for himself. Law enforcement did open up a case for a double murder, and if found guilty, he could spend up to 15 years in prison. And that's that. Not too much info on this one. I wish we knew more about Pono's past and everything. Um, but yeah, pretty short one today. 
There is another article I want to read. <laughs> um, I found this one while researching the previous story. I've only able been to, I've only been able to find two articles on this case, one from the Daily Star and one from the Sun. And there are no names given at all for any of these people. So I don't know honestly how credible it is. I did want to share it though, just because it's another interesting story. But I'm just gonna read you an article. The one I'm reading, the one I am reading is the article from The Sun. I chopped it off. Man, 36, confesses to castrating dad, 55, and cutting off his nose and lips in horrific attack after police standoff. A heavily armed man has confessed to castrating his dad and cutting off his nose and lips after a shootout with the cops. The 36-year-old was detained following a standoff with police after his heavily bleeding father broke free from handcuffs in his home in Ukraine and raised the alarm. The victim's nose, lips, and penis have been cut off, say police. The father, 55, was rushed to hospital right after the appalling incident in Dominevka village. Like I said, I'm terrible at pronouncing stuff. Police then went to detain the attacker, but he fired shots wounding three officers. After the intense shootouts, the man eventually surrendered. U Ukraine police say the house was packed with radio-controlled explosives. Police also seized a night vision device, a knife, weapons, ammunition, a detonator, and bomb devices. When asked about hacking off his dad's genitals, he replied, yes, and very happy about it. I chopped it off, but he did not calm down. Then I grabbed the handcuffs and put them, there are sirens going off right now, good lord. Then I grabbed the handcuffs and put them on him because I could not hold him, and he still did not calm down. He had more force than I expected. The reason for the conflict between the son, who had a military background, and the father is not clear. The suspect has been charged with intentional grievous bodily harm and endangering the life of police officers. Crimes, that, crimes which can lead to life imprisonment, say reports. No details have been given on the father's condition. So yeah, like I said, I don't know how credible that story is. There are pictures. I just only found two sources on it, so didn't want to make it a full video or anything. I just wanted to share an article with you guys. But that is it for today's video. I know it's a bit shorter than normal. I hope you guys had fun though. If you have any video ideas or any recommendations, please leave them down below. I am always looking for more ideas. You can follow me on all of my socials. I am Mighty Carly D across the board, so I am pretty easy to find. Um, you can get in contact with me on all of those as well. If you like what we are doing here, you can also buy me a coffee. Until next time, friends, goodbye.